I mean, with a father like that, it's bound to leave scars. You've been watching daytime TV again. I'm a health professional. I've seen cases like this before. So go and make up fairy tales about someone else then. Gordon's such a nice man. Thoughtful. Caring. Decent. He's well turned out. What do you expect? Horns in a tail. Mm, abusers often are. They have empathy with their victims. Gordon's no abuser. And whoever thinks he is, then they're wrong. He's done nothing. Of course he hasn't. It's shocking what people think they can get away with these days. Lives, careers down the pan because of some half-baked accusation. And they don't come more half-baked than that. Got it? If anyone's a victim, it's that poor man. Chaz, the next time you see him, tell him he's got our full support. Anything we can do to help. Yeah, well, it's all lies, right? Yeah. Squeaky clean is our Gordon. Perfect husband. Perfect dad. Whoever it was that turned my son into the messed up, vulnerable, damaged human being that he is today, then it definitely wasn't him. No. He didn't abuse him. He never hurt him. He never took his anger out on him. He never made my own son feel so bad about himself that he had to lie to me so that I had no idea what was going on until it was too late. He never made me want to die because the boy I love more than my own life couldn't even turn to his own mum for help. Yeah, because if he did, the whole world would need to know what kind of a sick pervert he is, wouldn't they? Hmm?